and it basically put it into my account in the checkout. So again, this isn't like if you're a developer, you do this all day long. But this really seems to be a new product category. I'm curious if you guys have played with it yet. And then what your thoughts are on having an agentic browser like this available to you to be doing these tasks in real time, you can also connect obviously your Gmail, your calendar to it. So I did a, a, a search, tell me every restaurant I've been to and then put it by city. And then I was going to open my open table and then pull that data as well. What's interesting about this, Keith, and I know you're a product guy and you've done a lot of product work. I'm curious your thoughts on it is you don't have to do this in the cloud. You're authenticated already into a lot of your accounts nor do you have to worry about being blocked by these services because it doesn't look like a scraper or a bot. It just, it's your browser doing the work. Your thoughts on this? Have you played with it at all? Yep. I think it's a great Hail Mary attempt by perplexity. I think absent something like this, perplexity is toast. Like for the stat about ChatGPT is going to a billion users, like it's becoming the verb, you know, that the way you describe using AI for a normal consumer, there's nothing left of perplexity if they can't pull this off. So it's a great idea because like the history of like consumer technology companies is whoever's up has uphill ground, like in a military sense, whoever's first has a lot of control. This is actually what Google should be doing, truthfully. Like I think Google's also Google search cross search is toast. And since they have Chrome <laughs> and they theoretically have a, a quality team in Gemini, they should be putting these two things together and hoping to compete with ChatGPT. They are going to lose the search game. Like the assets that are best at Google right now have nothing to do with search. It's every other product is the only thing that's going to save that company if they can put, figure out how to use them. Hmm. Travis, your thoughts on this category? Anything come to mind for you in terms of you know, feature sets that would be extraordinary here uh, i know you, you like to think about products and the consumer experience it's really interesting so you know i've been spending as you guys know i've been spending my time on real estate and construction and robotics and so i've, I've been out of the this kind of consumer software game for a long time but super interesting over the last six months there have been a, a number of consumer software ceos like when i hang out with them or whatever they're like you know, how are we going to, how are we going to keep doing what we do when the agents take over? 